Hello, and welcome back to yet another Let's Play for Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast. We are here in the, well, very dark and neon lit streets of Nar Shaddaa. One of the most fun levels of the original game, and quite possibly the most irritating level of any game since in this version. Because quite frank, I just absolutely despise this level. It is the design, just everything about it is horrible. Let's just go over that. You'll see what I mean later. Yeah. So with that uh, spirit lifting intro in mind, let's go track down this creep, shall we? Up yours, fellas. No problem. Hmm, is that a chiss? I think it is. No idea what he's doing here attending Bartender. a bar. I suppose Granddad Wolf Horn had to start somewhere, didn't he? Bartender. So this is set after all of that, so Oh well, never mind. <gasps> My god. Ah, Jedi's. I had no ideas. What can I do for you, honor Jedi's? I like a milk. I'm no Jedi. Warm. I'm just a guy with a lightsaber and a few questions. Of course. Many peoples have them. Lightsabers? Questions. How about a ruby blade? How dare you? Really an ale in a clean glass. Of course, sirs. Do you know he's not actually pouring any drinks? He's just looking at that painting of a drinks mixer. Now, you seek information. What do you know about Rilo Baruch? A respected waste disposal managers. This very establishment contracts with him to remove our garbages. Delightful. Where does he take your garbages? To a garbage dump. Where else? Sight out of mines, says us. And it's all strictly legit, right? As legitimate as anything on Marshada, Mr. Just the Guy. Do you know where I can find Baruch? Trulies. Trulies. Wait here. I get them for you. Well, it's gonna be an easy mission after all. I thought I should finish my drink and Ah crap. Never trust the bartender with bad grammar. You said it, Kyle. So yeah. Hit the old four speed here. The basic idea is take out a couple of them and then run like hell. Because this level is very fond of its thermal detonator throwing gimboids. Who will attempt to corner you at any and every available pass. So you want to lure a couple of people into a room at a time, dispatch them, and then run away. And that's basically the way this is going to work. And also, to make things more fun, once I take care of this guy at least, I'm going to show you how to activate a little bit of something. A little bit of something? Well, anyway, the point is I'm going to show you how to activate something that will basically make the saber combat a bit more visceral and a bit more amusing in several ways, Max. Wait one second. Deal with this idiot. Piss off. Go away, I'm trying to show the boys and girls something cool, damn it. Alright, he's gonna wait out there for a bit, I think. So, let's just save the game and show you guys this real quick. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's try that again. See, so now push tilde, it'll bring down your command console. Um, it's G underscore Saber Realistic Combat, capitals on the Realistic and the Combat, space one. Oh yes, so crap. Uh, you also have to type help us OB space one first to enable uh, code mode. Okay, so this again, G Saber Realistic Combat, space one. Now you won't get any confirmations it's actually worked, uh, but trust me it has, and I'll show you what it does in a second. Okay, here we go. Wong. That's right. We separated the guy from his legs. <laughs> Silly Rodian. Uh, the hilarity of this is 
that uh, in addition to obviously some rather horrendous and graphic decapitations and whatnot you can now do, uh, your lightsaber is now set to realistic mode, which means that simply by brushing it past an enemy, you can lob off arms, legs, toes, anything like that really, without actually having to attack per se, as a real lightsaber would do. So yeah, check real quickly I have indeed cleaned out the bar, not in the fun way unfortunately. Well there is no fun way for me as I suppose since I don't actually drink. Hi, he seems a trifle cut up about all this. <laughs> he lost his head in the heat of battle. Over such puns, yes. Anyway, uh, no one else about is there? Anyone left down here? That's fucking retarded. Yeah, the hit detection on this game is broken as all hell. There'll be times you drop a couple of feet and lose half your health, and other times you'll fall, you know, from skyscrapers and then take absolutely no damage. It's ridiculous. It really is. Right, anyway, eventually you get to the point, you'll just come up here and you'll press uh, this button over here on the wall, which will deactivate the bar security system and allow us to go and speak to uh, the good bartender uh, have a word with him you know knight to blue person it's like a weird chess move doesn't it anyhow here we go what ho barkeep you treacherous little blue snake Follow the garbage collectors. Mm. You're lucky Kyle's not a vindictive man. Although unfortunately for you, I on the other hand... Now if I remember correctly, there's going to be someone pop out up there, isn't there? You take care of them first. Now I shall might out your punishment, knave. We are Sir Kyle. That didn't work. Ow, crap, that hurt. Hmm. Bartender got in the way. For speed. Which does absolutely nothing, because apparently, while I'm moving at super enhanced superhuman reflex speed, they're all moving exactly the same speed, which, you know, turns the whole thing into a rather pointless, pretty little special effect, doesn't it? One of the many irritations I'm going to have with this game, I believe. Right, he should be dead now, I think. We heard the clattering sound effect, didn't we? Yeah, excellent. Alright. Now, what to do with the barkeep? Sir, thine have offended me. I must take justice. Off with his head. Right. Can I play with it with the force? Ah, I can as well. And toss his head around with the force. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. Let's, uh. Ah, uh, I see what I did there. Do a quick bit of exploring, I think. And then we'll move on, um. To the rest of this crappy level. <clears throat> Seriously, you really don't get just how awful this level was, and, well, still is, even after all these years. Oh, did I take your arm and your head off? It's hilarious, isn't it? Right, um... I thought the music actually finally stopped there. Kind of irritating. Ah, thank god. No more music. There's a time and a place, isn't there, really? And this is neither. Right. I just hop over the fence then, I think. I guess I do. <clears throat> can't get up there, can I? No, I can't jump high enough. Apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Attracted somebody's attention, rather. Oh, fucking snipers. Okay, this is going to be one of the major gripes for this level. This level includes a bare minimum of two snipers per area each using a sniper rifle 
that they can see me through and hit me with from distances that are quite frank beyond my version of the weapon's range. In addition to this, when attempting to aim through the scope, you can't move. If I attempt to scope and then side strafe or whatever, I instantly lock back out into this third person view. Well, first person view, you know what I mean. The only possible way to actually manage to kill the little sods is to activate your force speed and take as many shots at them as you can before they manage to hit you. Which they will do at least once, and as you notice, it takes off a ridiculous amount of your health per shot. So, yeah. Prepare to be thoroughly irritated throughout pretty much the entirety of this. There are other ways of doing this as well, of course. You can, if you're quick enough, dart out there, dart around their first shot, use the scope to figure out where they are, and then leave yourself locked in that position and just sidestep and fire. Uh, but, as I say, no matter what you do, it's going to be incredibly irritating because at least a couple of seconds later, you're going to be doing the same thing again. And, uh, yeah, trust me, on this level, you really just want to save as often as possible. Because there will be times on this level where you'll kill a huge wave of enemies, take half a step forward and be blasted by six different snipers, all from different positions at different points across the map. They shouldn't even be able to see you and yet will hit you with pinpoint accuracy. <clears throat> Not that I'm bitter. Because it's actually a very, very short level. It just takes so long to complete. Because like I say, you have to edge forward a couple of steps at a time. Wait to see if anyone fires at you. Dodge out of the way as fast as you can. Then spend the next ten minutes clearing out the hundreds and thousands of snipers that have suddenly drawn a bead on you. Case in point here, I've just taken out those two. I've walked, I haven't even walked even through this tunnel yet, and I'm already fighting another sniper. <clears throat> See if I can remember where the, uh, the secret area is around here. There's another asshole with his bloody grenades around here, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. And there's a sniper guy as well. Delightful. Because this, you know, clearly, I personally thought there was such a thing as too much of a piss take, but apparently, I was wrong. It's possible to have far more of a piss take than this. Uh, I don't... God, that, see, they hit you with pinpoint accuracy the second you step into the open, regardless whether you're using force speed or whatever else, and it's just, it's really not on. Quite enough of this cheap ass tactic, thank you. <clears throat> right, let's get out of here. 